My name is Chris Quam. I'm the administrator within the Office of Licensure and Certification in the South Dakota Department of Health. I want to say a sincere thank you to all healthcare providers for the great work you're doing during our response to COVID-19. For the sake of South Dakotans, it's only working together that we can effectively respond to this deadly pandemic. As you're aware, data shows older adults and those living in congregate environments, such as nursing homes and assisted living centers, are some of the most vulnerable population for severe disease. Unfortunately, we've seen long-term care populations are at high risk for infection, severe illness, and death from COVID-19. The Department of Health has worked closely with the long-term care community across the state to keep our residents healthy and safe. Using CMS and CDC national guidance, we've implemented common sense and effective approaches to our response activities, all of which have benefited from your dedication and hard work. We've sent over 250 listserv messages to our healthcare partners. In addition to providing guidance, we've supported our long-term care for, uh, providers by providing PPE from the state stockpile, We've provided funding for staffing and training. We've conducted on-site focus infection control surveys when a positive case is identified in the home. We make daily contacts and calls to long-term care providers with positive cases. And we conducted weekly statewide calls and webinars to uh, all healthcare providers. But the pandemic is not yet over. We all need to remain vigilant in our response. So I encourage you this, continue to use the core principles of infection prevention, including hand hygiene, physical distancing, cleaning, and disinfecting. Protect your elderly and long-term cares by screening visitors, using masks, and testing. Choose to get vaccinated. Protect yourself, your family, and our residents. Thank you again for your hard work, and I look forward to continuing working together to overcome COVID-19 in South Dakota.